What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Now this video is going to be a little bit of an update on the Civic Coupe budget build. For those of you that haven't seen the progress so far, I just want to recap a few things that, that we've done to the car. I want to go through spend of the car as well, you know how much we've spent on it so far. And I also want to touch on a few more things that I need to add to the board behind me because I'm keeping a track of everything as we buy things, as we build it, as I show them on, on the channel and as I show them on the build. So I'm not adding everything onto the board, although I do think we've probably got everything. Probably. But yeah, I'm definitely wanting to update the board, give you guys a little update as well as to how much we've spent and hopefully, yeah, just basically round it off as to what things cost, where, where it is right now and what it's taken to get there because it is a budget build and, and I'm trying to keep track of everything and trying to keep you guys in the loop as, as well as to how much it'd cost if you wanted to build something that looks similar or that had similar parts, etc, etc. So, let me just get the list. So, up there already, we have the car cost itself at £2,000. I did pay £2,200 for it for a spoiler, which I'm going to say is about 80 quid. It was a DC2 slash a Cord Type R rear spoiler, so the big sort of high rise wing. And it also came with an extra set of 15 inch EM1 wheels. In addition to those things, I also bought a number of other items, such as a EP2 steering wheel, which I paid £30 for, a set of tailor fitted black mats, which I paid about £15 for, a EK9 style grille from Wish which I paid the grill from Wish, I paid £17 for posted. I also bought a gear knob off Wish and a gear knob gator, so the, the boot if you like, the gear knob boot. Um, both of those from Wish or AliExpress one of them might have been from. Either way, you know, one of the cheap sites paid £9 for those two items in total. I bought an air intake from, I think it was from AliExpress, all these parts were easily found on eBay, AliExpress and Wish by the way. But the air intake I bought for £24. I also bought some side repeaters for it from eBay. The clear sort of like crystal looking ones. Some Honda Jazz washer jets. Some bright white LED rear ridge plate lights. I bought a magnetic sun plug for it off Wish. I gave it full service and used that sun plug. I also bought some EK9 style headlights from the Fast and Furious Eclipse France. He shipped them over to me for like £50. What else? Oh, we did the timing belt, and the timing belt cost me 60 quid as well. So, all in all, all those parts that I just reeled off cost under £300. They actually cost £287. That's quite cheap for, you know, EK9 headlights, EK9 grille, the steering wheel, you know, the gear stick, the gear, uh, the, the mats, like a lot of small sort of cosmetic things, but nevertheless all sort of add up to create an overall aesthetic to the car and an overall feel to the car as well, especially with things like the steering wheel and, and the seats that we've recently fitted. So moving on, I've recently fitted and painted white some 17 inch wheels, which I paid £60 for. I then also fit obviously a pair of tyres to those wheels. They cost me £92 for a pair of 215 45R17 Achilles ATR Sport 2 tyres. Very, very good tyres to be fair for the Dosh. I then fit a set of cup holders for £30, so the EK9 style cup holders. I then did the LED headlights, LED side lights, and um, some, I bought some rubber caps as well for the back that actually worked with the LED headlights rather than me chopping up the original EK9 rubber grommets on the back of the, the headlights. And all that was £26 for that. I then paid 120 quid for a set of skirts posted from, again, that Fast and Furious Clips France. Front lip, a Jun style front lip that I've recently fiberglassed on a video but I still need to paint. That was £70 posted to my house. And very, very recently, and one of the best modifications, in my opinion, for overall feel, as well as you know, like the, the EP2 steering wheel, which is like a smaller diameter, a chunkier grip. The other item that we've recently fitted is the lower, more bolstered Del Sol seats. So those particular seats feel so, so much better, and they are a brilliant addition to the car. I only paid £30 for those seats. So those items, quick maths, is another £426, I think. So those items that I've just reeled off is another £428. So £428 plus the £287 is £715 in total. So I've not included the wheels, I've not included the wing because they were sort of included in the car price at £2,200. But I'm already in, in parts that I've bought 715 pounds in. Now, I have got a few other components that I'm wanting to fit onto the car. They include, you know, a pair of horns, some underglow, 
I've got a rear bumper, I've also got a clutch that needs doing, a flywheel, a lighting flywheel because I thought why not, a short shifter, some poly bushes for that short shifter to make sure it's nice and tight, nice and you know, nice positive feel, and maybe a couple of other bits as well. That then's going to sort of round up this update video of how much we've spent so far on the budget build. I hope you're enjoying the build so far. I hope you're liking these particular updates where I sort of recap you on the, the costs so far, all the, the prices of everything. But yeah, everything on this particular build has been so far off Facebook Marketplace, off speaking to people online, off AliExpress, Wish and eBay. So this is something that you know I'm trying to scrape every penny that I possibly can. I'm doing a lot of the bodywork and stuff myself, you know for example like the spraying of the skirts, I'm going to spray the front lip soon and I'll also be doing the entire rear bumper. But yeah a lot of it's going to be stuff that I've done myself, everything on the car's DIY, including the timing belt that we did and I am including maintenance costs as well in this particular build, you know tyres, pair of, um, clutch is, is going to be included in the cost and also the timing belt so everything is getting included in this particular build to keep it relevant you know to keep it realistic so i hope you're enjoying it if you are wanting to see more of the build then please consider subscribing hit the bell so it notifies you of any future uploads and i'll catch you in the next one bye for now